flowing single track to run escaping to a quiet trail system in this time of runner social distancing is a special treat it have to have dedicated trail shoes that bite into dirt and caution your feet against rocks running on trails is an excellent way to stay fit and healthy and has just as many benefits for the mind as it does for the body we love it because of the incredible variety the connection to nature and most of all because of the potential for adventure trail runners just like road running shoes come in numerous variants with something to suit our style and level of running ability high up the list of requirements for most people will be feature and parameters like weight grip sport crushing durability and descent waterproofing If you are planning to escape the tarmac and run off road make sure you are lacing up a pair of trail running shoes built to content with everything the wilds can throw at you. So, is a lightweight trail running shoe providing the perfect combination of responsiveness, comfort and stability with a streamlined fit, excellent traction and really great underfoot protection. The Bushido features the La Sportiva Friction XT 2.0 dual compound rubber outsole. This has a sticky rubber down the center of the shoe and harder wearing rubber on the sides which wrap the midsole for increased stability. Also, the 1.5 mm 4 foot rock guard provides bomber underfoot protection while the TPU shanks on the medial and lateral sides of the shoe offer increased stability on off camber trail conditions. The internal slip-on construction provides a snug sock-like fit which connects your foot to the shoe to the trail around you while the rear heel stack of 19 mm and the 6 mm overall drop keeps your foot close to the ground for technical mountain running the highly breathable air mesh upper keeps your feet cool in the hottest of conditions and dry when you encounter wet terrain available now the last wanted to introduce the speed goat 4 so the speed goat is obviously an extremely popular trail shoe i'd say at the biggest trail racing event in australia uh about 40% of the people in hoka were wearing this this year and about 40% were wearing challenger 5 um obviously we're going to see torrent in the mix in a big way in 2020 which is going to be very cool because you basically have torrent challenger speed goat catering to different runners with different needs doing different distances and obviously with different priorities But the superb thing about the Speed Goat 4, two superb things. Firstly, one thing that we have learned about how to do updates at Hoka is if it is not broken, don't fix it. So we have just made some very subtle changes to the Speed Goat apart from one major change and the major change is that from December 2019 in men's and in women's the speed goat 4 will be available in a wide fit so in november we will be launching speed goat 4 in december we will be delivering for the first time for your very happy feet that wanted something extremely cushioned super grippy but maybe a bit wider the speed goat 4 wide the important things about speed goat 4 to be aware of tighter weave in the upper so this is going to be a bit more resilient there's going to be a bit of a tougher upper on foot uh you've got pretty much identical platform to the Speed Goat 3 except that we've just deep we've uh filled rather than deepened so we filled this concavity under the heel a little bit in the previous iteration if you tried really really hard and landed your heel right on top of a pointy rock you might have been somewhat aware that you were landing on something but really there was not much to fix in this outsole at all which is tribute to the design and development team um minor adjustments you may be able to see just here we have a little bit of stepping on the front of the lugs so that's that vibram mega grip super sticky outsole compound that we've been using for our high performance trail options and what those what that increased surface area on these lugs is going to do as far as i'm concerned is increase surface contact which is going to mean more grip and it is also going to help shed mud So we'll see how that performs but that is the expectation that's what some of the wear testers have been giving us feedback on and that is what I expect this to do. So your classic speed goat stuff, a lot of cushion in a very agile, comfortable, lightweight package 
with superb grip that's deliberately calibrated under the heel for fast, reliable descending, now going to be available in a wide. So some people have said, oh, I feel like this shoe is too tight. Part of why this shoe fits on foot the way that it does is that its heritage demands a responsive ride. It needs to be working with the foot rather than lagging behind. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you're in a shoe running <clears throat> a long way on rolling flat terrain, you can do that in something with a very loose toe box because you don't need all the synchronicity in the world between your foot and the shoe. If, however, you're in the kind of gnarly terrain that you might want to be in in a speed goat, you want something that's actually going to work and perform really closely with your foot, hence that kind of a fit. But now, instead of suggesting to some people, as I certainly have, that suggesting that they go up a half size if they feel like it's a bit snug, we can put you in a proper wide fit. So 2E in men's speed goat 4 and D in women's speed goat 4. So that is a very important addition to the Hoka range to be aware of from the end of 2019, start of 2020. So you'll have not only speed goat 4, pretty sharp looking, very tough, comfortable, high performance trail running, but also speed goat 4 wide, which I'm sure there are a lot of feet out there will be very happy about. Who want confidence, grip and stability with the performance features of a running shoe will reap the benefits of the next generation of the iconic Speed Cross franchise with the Speed Cross 5. This high performance shoe has been enhanced for stability and performance, allowing you to go the distance on the trail. The Speed Cross 5 is supportive enough for all day wear, yet dynamic enough for precision footwork. One of the most recognizable features of the Speed Cross is its unique tread pattern. This shoe features deep, penetrating chevron lugs with updated geometry to improve the grip and durability on even the most technical terrain. The lugs are arranged directionally to provide uphill and downhill traction as needed. The lugs are constructed from our ContraGrip formula, a durable rubber compound which helps reduce the risk of slipping even on the slickest surfaces. The spacing between the lugs allow water and mud to drain away from the sole of the shoe. Now, let's talk about the upper of the shoe. The completely welded upper of the Speedcross 5 is overlasted around the midsole, providing a sleek design and superb foothold. The Speedcross 5 is also equipped with SensiFit technology. The SensiFit really acts as a big hand that wraps around your instep that helps secure your foot to the shoe. This gives the shoe integrity to provide great foothold and secure the foot inside the shoe, even in difficult, uneven terrain. This shoe is also equipped with our quick lace technology. Quick lace is four times stronger than a traditional lace, so you don't have to worry about these babies breaking when you're in the backcountry. For convenience, we've actually created a lace garage inside the shoe where you can stuff the lace lock as well as the excess lace. So a few things that we've changed on the Speed Cross 5 is going to be this hill construction. The midsole of this shoe is Energy Cell Plus. This provides great rebound and cushioning as well as stability. One thing you'll notice with the It provides additional stability in the heel cup area. The Speedcross 5 is also equipped with the rubber toe cap. This provides protection from rocks and roots and other debris that you may encounter along the trail. Another thing that we've upgraded on the Speedcross 5 is the mesh. On prior versions, we had a ripstop nylon material. Here we've gone to a closed mesh that's a little bit more comfortable on the foot and also adds a little bit more stretch, just improving the overall performance of the shoe. So if you want grip on all types of terrain without adding bulk, that compromises your precision and speed, the Speed Cross 5 brand new Paragon ISO. Now the Paragon ISO is our go-to trail shoe. It works for so many conditions and so many surfaces. It's our most popular trail shoe year after year. We've made some great changes to the update for this season. First of all, starting with the upper, this is the first season the Paragon has ISO fit. So we have that trail specific ISO fit right there in the midfoot. That's gonna give you great hold, great reliability, and really help guide the foot for each unique runner right where you need it most, right in the midfoot. On the midsole, we have a full-length power foam midsole with three millimeters of ever on top sole. So you're gonna get great cushioning, great push-through protection, but also that just amount of guidance courtesy of that ever on top sole. As we move to the outsole, this is really the hero of the Peregrine series. We have a full-length power track outsole that we space out the lugs to give you optimal grip. So it has just enough pliability to allow for movement on the trails, 
but has exceptional grip across wet dry surfaces. No matter what the conditions, the Peregrine ISOS outsole is going to have exceptional grip wherever you go. Across the upper, we add more reinforcements in the heel and the forefoot just to protect you on the trails and also use a reinforced mesh to give you just enough durability while also allowing for a lot of flexibility. The Paragon ISO is truly our Swiss army knife of a trail shoe. It works for so many runners and so many surfaces. You're gonna find a great experience in it no matter where you are. So make sure to check it out today. Shoe, this is the Run Venture 3. Run Venture 3 is a great zero drop platform from Topo, a little closer to the ground. We have some other trail shoes that have a little more cushioning. This is one of our lower platforms in the trail category. The first thing that you'll notice that's an upgrade over the old Run Venture 2 is we now have a Vibram sole on the bottom here. That Vibram sole has very nice spacing through the lugs for good snow and mud release. You'll notice all of the trailing edges on the forefoot lugs are nice and sharp for good uphill traction. Same thing for the leading edges on the back, good sharp edges, so you've got good traction going downhill. This shoe carries an ESS rock plate. The rock plate is there just to protect you against stones and rocks uh, on the trail, so you don't get any stone bruising up in the forefoot area. We also have some flex grooves there so that that rock plate doesn't fight you when you're going uphill. It flexes still really nicely. The shoe has an ortholite foam footbed on the inside, which is also an upgrade over the original. In the Run Venture 2, we had a relaxed heel construction, so no heel counter in this shoe. It was designed to give really the most natural feel and sensation, but by popular request, we've actually now added a heel counter into the Run Venture 3. It just gives you a little more security, probably a little better fit in the back half of the shoe. Like all of our trail shoes, this shoe features a fully gusseted tongue. The upper mesh is a little tighter weave, so it doesn't allow as much dust or dirt inside the shoe as you would find in a typical air mesh. To still enhance breathability, you can see here we've got these drainage ports on the both the lateral and the medial side. That just lets a little more air flow in, also allows water to escape out. The Run Venture 3 for women weighs in at 7.6 ounces. The men's weighs in at 9.5 ounces, so pretty lightweight for a good all-purpose trail shoe. So that's the new Run Venture 3 from Topo Athletic.